what's behind uh, the recent rise of uh, populism and extremism in USA and in Europe and how dangerous it could be? You know, I, I always say that, that hate is born of ignorance. Fear is its father and isolation mm -hmm. is its mother. And I think what's happening, not just in the United States, but all across Europe, mm -hmm. is that there's a fear of the unknown, a fear of the other. Uh, you know, in 1933, we had a Jewish refugee crisis. Mm -hmm. And in you know, this uh, age, we have a Muslim refugee crisis. Yes. And both times, we feared what we didn't understand. And we never took the steps to try and understand it, so we tried to wipe it off the face of the earth. I think it's all our responsibility to understand that, first of all, we're all human beings that have the mm -hmm. same needs. And that even if we have different color skin or different religion or even different customs, we have that because we're geographically separated. That's part of what makes our, 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 world, our world community beautiful, is that we have all these different cultures contributing to it that make it beautiful and interesting. Um, but I think the, the rise of the far right across Europe and even in my country in the United States is due to those fears and isolation. We don't make the attempt to understand what we don't know. Instead, why we try exactly to push it now? away. Why exactly now is this rise? Because I think that the world is experiencing some desperation. I think that there is a lack of opportunity in many parts of the world, including mm. the United States and in Bulgaria. Mm. When people have opportunity, when they can feed their families, when they can feel secure about who they are, when their life is happier, they don't turn to extremism, they don't turn to hate. Hate is a crutch that just gets them through. It gives them somebody else to blame. When people feel more stable, when economies are more stable and people are working, uh, there's no reason to hate anybody because you don't feel that anything's being taken away from you. I do see a lot of similarities to history repeating itself. Uh, you know, we have a lot of things that are happening where we're becoming isolationists and we're becoming very nationalist. Uh, and we're you know, talking about a registry and a ban yes. and actually enacting those things through executive orders. Uh, and it's very scary to me. Uh, and it's scary to me because it's happening to people in America where our country is based on these values of immigrants coming to our country. So it scares me because the reason I love America is because we have these values of inclusion. Mm -hmm. And when that's taken away from us, it takes away the meaning of America to me. And I don't want that to happen. And I know that there are millions and millions of Americans that don't want that to happen either.